the Timurids declared coalition war. It's Transoxy and all their vassals, man. Great Horde, Akayunlu, Gazimuk. Oh, God. It might be over, boys. Hey, 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 guys. So since the new DLC came out, everyone's been playing Ardabil. I know some of you wanted me to see play Ardabil and some of you probably are tired of it by now because many people have released videos for it. But since it received so much flavor in this DLC, I really want to try it out for myself. So I hope you will enjoy the video regardless and let's get this started. And here we are as Ardabil with our 4k units at the beginning, with morale of army straight for our ruler. We have a new Kizilbash estate, so since I'm in this window, might as well complete the estates, so let's summon the diet. And even though I'm not planning to declare on Karakayunlu first, I will take this one. So this is a Mers. Okay, so to you Lama, let's grant plus one admin power, local residence. And let's invite shock damage received guy. Then let's get established religious schools to save 50 points. For now that's it. A mirrors. Let's go with supremacy for loyalty. And officer rights to get a really good general with 40 tradition. To merchant guilds let's not grant plus one point. Because of this new estate we won't have enough crown lands. Instead patronage of the arts. Because having prestige of course grants even more morale of armies. Then indebted to the burger loans. Merchant Guild's economic freedom will boost our trade power and then we can take Promote Merchant Guild's bookkeeping. To Dimi I will grant Reform Progress Growth and Religious Unity. And lastly to Kizilbash, plus one mill power, establish the new Kizilbash regiments. This costs 5% crownlands and that's why we didn't give the privilege to the Merchant Guilds. And for the last ability I will take Protected Communities. It will give additional loyalty and monthly autonomy change which will help when we expand. And now we can seize the lands and we have 10% at the start. So when we grow our crown lands then we can take plus one Diplo point as well but not for now. Let's invite our Scholar now. Here we go. Would be nice to get a good mill advisor to combine with this guy so let's see yeah we have discipline so let's take that now for our missions we need 100 percent of the force limit to get perma claims and we need three kizilbash regiments to get army tradition which will grant another around five percent morale of armies because at nine it gives around 2.5 yeah, 2.2. So it's gonna be another good boost. Now these guys are Sunni. Shirvan is Sunni. And we are Shia. So we could always take Expansionist Zealotry for additional 5%. And you know what? I think I will do it right away. Now if we wanted to build Kizilbash units, it would take around 150 days for three of them. So we would get our Burma claims after like three or four months only and that's a very slow start so because of that I'm instead gonna get some mercs and these are some really really good generals over here. So maybe instead of the free company let me actually get this one with four shock in one siege. It's only gonna take 17 days to build so we can take it. And what general did we get ourselves? Let's also check. And let's not click on the denouncement because this moves us towards legalism. And we want to keep our piety at minus because this grants additional 10% morale of armies. So yeah, general, general, he's decent, he's decent, free shock, one siege. Our rivals will be Shirvan and Biapas, the only options. And I won't use any government interactions just yet. I think this will be enough, we can actually wait and possibly start our war next month. Boom, we have the units, so let's complete this mission now. And it is 11th of December. So these guys allied Biapas and Ajam, and Biapas allied only Shirvan. That means I will be most likely declaring on Biapas. Yeah, I think that sounds good. We have Masandran without any allies, but yeah, we will need first to snake our way towards them. So let's go for it. I will be declaring now. This is mountains, so I don't want to engage over there we could go to drylands he's moving out or we could go to these mountains and maybe bait them into our mountains yeah i think that would work the best let's go here in the meantime let me start building spy network on a jam to get more siege ability and maybe even on mazandron okay so these guys are not going to the mountains and i will engage here in drylands we will be there next month so we will get another tick of morale and I think we will be good. This guy has no leader. And we of course have two Giga Chads with us. Let's see how this goes, man. Let's see. Oh, where are you going, bro? That's it. 
and if we engage back here we also should be fine we arrive okay so let's wait a couple days now we can go because we will be there next month and get another tick so let's go boys let's go let's go yeah get wrecked man so first we want to remove sherwan from this war port level three boys so we need more units we desperately need more units let me get another merc group it's gonna be expensive but definitely worth it okay so ajam made a claim on us and karaka yunlu did and i believe these guys will be attacking us any moment hopefully we get the siege quick mysticism yes mysticism nice we got it we got it so let's um try to move here maybe kara declared on his kaifa that's actually really good for us i wiped him boys i wiped him that's it it's double aggressive expansion because these guys are not co-belligerent but we desperately need lands man we desperately need this, so let's take it man reduce war exhaustion core it up and you boys go to this fort Gilan declared on Biapas. Hmm, do we take Gilan out? They're our ally. I think we don't want to do it because they're allied with Karakayunlu and maybe this actually stops Karakayunlu from declaring on us. Yeah, I was kind of thinking to vassalize Biapas, but maybe not. Maybe let's not do it. Ajam is at war with Mushasha and Mazanjan in the meantime. Oh, this will be a very good time to strike them. No manpower. Yeah, I think we will go for this. They have no alliances, only their vassals. Oh boy, finish the siege, man. And let me get loaned up a little bit more and start building these Kizilbash regiments to get this 20 army tradition. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Also, we can probably start repaying our 1% loans and 4% loans that were 4 ducats each. Here we go, that's a little bit better. Minus 21%, still we have good amount of time. Nice. 20 army tradition. Let's go. Definitely build the palace. Additional prestige helps. And our new air completely, completely sucks. Oh man. Once I'm at a better spot, I will probably disinherit him. Can this fort ever fall? I'm already have my troops set up in this province because I was expecting it to fall. Well, that's nice. The base. Get some money. Holy crap, it just doesn't fall, man. Their war is almost over. Yeah, it's super nasty, man. Oh my god, 500 days to get this. That's crazy. That is a very bad start, but here we go. We have this. We had one core, so only one province to actually pay for. And another mission completed. Conquer Shirvan. 100 admin and plus 1 stability. That is awesome. For this mission, we need to establish holy order in this state. But we will need more provinces, right? Yeah. So, Karakayunlu. Okay, rivals, rivals, rivals. Avaria, Georgia and Gazimuk, sure. Okay, and let's not wait, let's declare I'm calling in Gilan to help us out, promising them lands, but I'm not gonna give anything, of course. Let's go, boys, let's go. This guy is actually sieging down Mazandran right now, so that's good. Okay, my ally is stupid, he's gonna fight on the mountains. Uh, yeah, he's kinda screwed. I could move my guys, maybe, maybe let's help him. Anyways, he didn't need my help, so it's fine. We are looking good here. Oh, what's that? A jam? What is that? A jam? They're gonna fight. Sure, sure, sure. Let's help him out. Let's help him out then. We can do this, boy. Let's go. Nice. You guys gotta leave. Yeah, here we go. Get caught. Might, might need to reinforce this. Yeah, let's go. And we're actually good. We're actually good. We beat them all. We have 7k rebels though, so that's a bit annoying. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised. This fort fell at 21%. Finally got a little bit of luck. Oh, what the hell is happening here? Okay, so Mazandaran's troops are hired by Ajam. And Ajam is getting wrecked by the Timurids. Okay, that makes sense. That makes all the sense. Can we get on their capital first, please? Oh god. Yes, 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 we have it. We have it, boys. All the war score will be ours. So this guy has... 10k units okay i think i am confident with these 8k and i will send the remaining troops to kill the rebels here we go can we sort it a little bit very good very good and the war is pretty much done after this siege oh god everyone is taking a piece of that everyone is well they can i don't mind it since i have pretty much everything i will need let me make a claim on this guy in the meantime and i guess we don't have to waste time let's go 
Yep, it's done. The siege is ours. Now, do I take their capital, man? Hmm, do I need it for Persia? I do need it for Persia, okay. I guess I will wait a little bit more for the ticking of war score and then I will take my Pizil. In the meantime, let's siege this guy. Once again, the rebels are really annoying me. Give me more sortie and let's kill him. Alright. Have enough troops to siege this in the meantime. And yeah, 99%, I guess we can just send it. 200 decades goes to us, only 70 to our ally. We also take war reps and all of these provinces, man. Now, there will be a little bit of a coalition... But the Jam, of course, is not joining because we have a truce with them. It's four nations and they cannot form it. So we're still good. And we're much larger now. So we can complete Protect Ardabil. Let's go. Soon we will be able to complete this mission as well. Because we have grown by four states. We just need to core them. And let's start coring. Max amount of loans, eh? Yeah, we need to repay these four ducat loans. These are useless, that's a bit better. Our loans grew quite a bit. So after this war, we will fix them up. Give me this level 4 mil. Nice, the siege is done. And the war is done, pretty much. Beautiful. Let's take these provinces now. Um, yeah, the coalition is basically not affected. That is amazing. So 17%, but what we're gonna do is sell titles. Then seize lands. We have a little bit of cash now. That we can spend to repay the 17 ducat loans. And look at that, down to 12 loans. Now we will take merchant guild ones. And repay the other ones. We have a little bit of money left and we have 7 loans remaining. And look how nicely we actually look now. Oh god, I love this. Now another thing I'm gonna do is remove this fort in a Kazwin. Because it's drylands, it's not very good and it's very expensive. Another thing I'm gonna remove is Shervan's fort. And now it's very, very important to start decreasing autonomy in our core provinces. Not only we will get more money, more force limit, but more manpower and as well more reform progress. So how is Karakayunu looking? Still at war with Ajam? Allied with Gilan. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we could technically use Karakayunu to take this province while we're still allied with them. Oh yeah, they broke the lines already. Well, that's fine. We have a truce and we can actually silently break it for that i will definitely need more units and i have no manpower so what are we gonna do Ooh, speaking of money debase take this free cash new rivals are needed and that will be kara and a gem and could we possibly get any alliances only circassia interesting do we go for circassia whoa a little bit byzantium what the hell bruv i guess it's something i mean it is something, 5k units to help us out in case of any trouble. Now next what I plan to do after quarrying everything is taking this ability. It will cost 50 admin, but if we complete it while taking it, then we will get 5% crown lands and 1 base tax. And if we would invite minorities, it would only be 2 base production and manpower, which is way worse I think. Okay, so for Persia we will still need provinces from Pars, from Timurids. More provinces from Ajam and Tabriz. That is quite a lot. But I think it is time to start going. So let's get this company. We have two missionaries. Okay, so let's set them as autonomous. And let's go for it, man. Conquest of Tabriz. Here we go. Start this up. Take out Gilan. Get wrecked, son. I just need one guy with siege here, to be honest. The rest of you can start going to Tabriz, and if he comes here, I might reinforce. Oh man, these separatists are so annoying, bro. Yeah, he's sieging here, so we're kind of safe. Come on, fall at 14%, I dare you. Oh, come on, bro. I'm kind of concerned that we he will attack me here on the mountains, so I really want to finish this siege and go over to Tabriz. Oh, come on, you're testing my patience, man. You are testing my patience. It's very fortunate, you know, that he's still fighting a jam. Okay, 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 we got it, we got it. Just give me this province, dude. Um, Next month we can take it, okay, so... Here we go. Yeah, we're good now. So, let's take a little bit of cash as well. It takes so much admin to court this. Oh, God. We better start focusing admin. We're losing a little bit of cash. Um, 
I will still get this advisor, I think. I think it's needed. And Tabriz fell, guys. Tabriz fell. Professionalism, please. And let's start slackening right away because we have no manpower. Now it's time to bait him into Tabriz. Please come for a vacation in my siege down fort. That would be amazing. Another state. Here we go. Maybe let's not core it yet. But we can complete expand royal domain. And this guy is now a conqueror. Minus 5 years of separatism. Not too good of stats, but really good traits. Oh, look who's going to Tabriz. Who is it? Who is it? Isn't that our boy? Yes, it is. And we are coming with reinforcements to beat him up. Now, where is he going? Well, I think I can catch these boys over here separately. Yeah, we got him. Oh god, Timurids. Oh god. They took so much from a jump. Holy crap. These guys are dead. Now it's these guys' time. Oh, come on, these rebels, bro. Okay, we didn't make it on time. They unsieged this, but maybe in Yerevan we can catch them. Yeah, yeah, we can catch them in Yerevan. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Take this. Oh god, it's so close. It's so close. How is he looking? 12k, basically no manpower. Okay. So he's gonna lose another 1000. Yeah, we caught him. We caught him. So let's take care of this guy now. Nice. He's not playing around. Oh god. Okay. I'm going in for the siege. Ignoring these guys for now. We'll continue going towards mysticism. I still need that moral of armies boost. Come on, bro. Just fall. And maybe I can afford a couple units to go and siege this. It's hurting me. It is hurting me. Yeah, we got it, boys. We got it. Let's unsiege this quickly. Yeah, that's nice, Darga. Now, let me kill him. Oh, God. Six shock. Let's go, boys. Yeah, we have very high tradition, so it is expected. Before the rebels, let's beat this guy on the mountains. It should be easy, right? Easy battle. Yes, yes, yes. Now we can take care of rebels. War score is looking super juicy. Okay, so I'm not planning to defeat his rebels for him. Instead, I will walk like this over here. He's so sieged down. Holy. Yeah, he's done, man. Uh, yeah, I will finish the war now. I cannot afford to take much more because of the coalition. That is a lot of cash. That is a war reps. All the provinces that I need for my mission and the Briz, of course, that is needed to form Persia. And I'm additionally taking Yerevan because it's a nice trade center. No ganja for us, boys. No ganja this time. Let's finish the war, man. Let's go. Oh god, we're looking so good. We're looking so good. It's only been 10 years into the game, boys. Conquest of Tabriz, lose to war exhaustion and gain core on Tabriz, oh god. It would normally cost 135 points. I think what I did wrong is I reduced my war exhaustion manually during the war, so I kinda lose a bit of efficiency with this, but it's fine, it's fine. Into Persia is also completed. This event will establish the legend of Ismail I and his endeavors as part of the court in Ardabil. The throne will be his 565 heir at age of 15, 50 of each points and a 90% skill free advisor or insane general, 10 army tradition and 5 army professionalism. So looking at the points and the heir that I have currently, I must go with the first option. Whoa, he's even a conqueror, minus 5 years of separatism, that is amazing. Now another thing that is amazing is the money is the money definitely let me start repaying these annoying loans we have 95 ducat loans now so we can actually repay the 65 ones as well give me new merchant guild ones we are rich and we have only one percent loans this is beautiful 50 admin as well that is juicy it will cost so much to core this good lord it's for sure, for sure time to reduce more autonomy, even though I'm constantly crying about the rebels, it's still good. Deep down, even though I cry about them, 
I still value them a lot because of our high army tradition and because how much they boost our nation. And this coalition is starting. Oh god, bro. Oh god. Can we get someone to help us out with that? No one wants to ally us. Um, we could eventually get Hungary or Poland. How are they looking? Junior partners, okay. Yeah, I think Poland would be a good ally to defend us. I really hope this coalition war won't trigger. Akayunlu also entered. Yeah, it's not looking good. Really, what kind of screwed me was taking full Shirvan without them being co-belligerent. But of course, every start is different and mine, in my opinion, was at least the direction to go into was definitely the correct one to full annex Shirwan, despite them not being co-belligerent. Otherwise, it would have been much harder to deal with Ajam and Karakayunlu. Additional 11 ducats, I'll take that. Let's take this general with 90 tradition this time. Let's see how good he is. Oh my god, these generals are so good now. Okay, let's make a claim here, but I think I won't be declaring on Georgia. They're still level 3, these, these are pretty much free lands, but the aggressive expansion that we currently have, it makes a bit difficult for this to be a good decision. Yeah, the Timurids declared coalition war. It's Transoxy and all their vassals, man. Great Horde, Akayunlu, Gazimuk. Oh, God. It might be over, boys. Unless these guys... Yeah, their liberty desires 100%. All of them. So they won't be participating, so that's good at least. We only have to deal with this guy with 32,000. Maybe let's try and take Gazimuk out first. Oh, I will need to merc up like crazy. And Circassia wants us to join another war. Oh god, maybe this was not the best ally. Dude, I'm not gonna help you out versus Venice. What the hell, bro? Did you not get the memo that I'm at a coalition war? Yes, yes, money, money, money. Give me defensive edict. Definitely need that. Oh god, what is going on here? Please give me the mercs. So he actually thinks he's smart about this. How do we play it out? I think I will play it like this. Maybe leave these guys and move here. It should be enough, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's go like that. Oh, we won the siege. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Go, go, go. Yeah, get out of here, man. Kayunlu okay, wants some as well. We can actually leave... Maybe this one guy over here. Let's go crazy on them. Let's go crazy on them, boys. Come here. Well, now you don't have anywhere to run. Now you don't have anywhere to run. God is great. Yes, he is. We're wiping everybody. No mercy. No mercy. I just need to hope not to lose these units here. Please, CJ, don't... Yes, 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 yes. Everything is going so well. Look, look at this. They're getting owned, guys. 20%. We have a lot of boys in Circassian lands. This guy has to go. No more manpower. Oh, they're running now. They're running. Now, can we do it like that? I get defensive edict over here. A gift from Uzbek. Oh, very sweet of you. Very, very sweet of you. Maybe alliance, boy? Huh? Maybe alliance? So, I want to do it like this. I want to... Try and siege down Astrakhan and then go defend Ardabil, I mean Tabriz. Um, we should have enough time with defensive edicts over here. Yeah, reduce war exhaustion. I have to core these provinces still. Come on boys, come on, get it, get it, get it. It's taking a bit too long, I'm gonna start taking matters into my own hands, man. 3k down, which is good. We got the siege, which is amazing. And now I'm gonna initiate on the Great Horde in Tabriz. It's a free battle, even though Transoxiana was coming here, it's easy. Merge my units and we can pounce on them. Oh god, Akayunlu, you misstepped, you misstepped. Dude, we're owning them, we're owning them so hard. I want to see the ledger, how are we looking compared to them? Morale, 4.82, while the second one is Transoxiana with 3.6. But yeah, most of these guys are now participating, which is really annoying. They were 100%, but Timurids managed to fix their loyalty. Okay, anyways, 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 there's not enough units for them to beat us here. They're gonna get the good old beating. Come here. I think it's gonna be another wipe here. 12k stuns. 
Yeah, yeah, they no longer exist. Mamluks are unseizing the provinces. Um, what's happening here? Oh, okay. Khorasan Mamluks. Syria Ottomans. What the hell? They're fighting both the Mamluks and Ottomans. Yo, that's sick. Yeah, no, I'm definitely taking provinces from Timurids this war. Wait, what exactly do I need? I need Isfahan, Yazd, and Hamadan. Is that it? I suppose that's it, and I suppose I could actually take all of them. Okay, we do have a little bit of a problem. Isfahan was occupied by Khorasan. Yeah, that kinda sucks. But maybe they will finish their war first. Or maybe we can just let Transoxiana unsiege it somehow. Anyways, tier 2 government reform. Give me the noble corpse. Nah, he's not gonna unsiege it. He's just causing problems to us. Oh well, oh well. Well, this guy's done. Take that. This guy's done. Come here. Come here, bro. Got you now. Got you now. This coalition war went much smoother than I ever thought it would. Yeah, so casual battle. We lost 600 units. Meanwhile, they lost 17k. Yeah, just casual battles, man. The only problem about what's going on is that, yeah, Khorasan sieged everything because these guys kept unseaging and I had to fight here in the Great Horde lands. So we'll see what they will actually take in the war. We will probably take some remains and maybe we will have to fight Khorasan in the end. But how are these guys doing, I wanna see. 23,000 still, but no manpower. This guy, lots of manpower. Still going strong. Oh yeah, Khorasan is absolutely massive now. Let me get this claim done. Circassia pieced out, which gave us a lot of war scores, so that's nice. If I get a couple more provinces and perhaps, yeah, this fort... Maybe we will be able to take our peace deal very shortly. Yeah, man, I think that's it. I'm not gonna push much harder. Decent amount of cash. War reps from Timurids. These provinces right here to connect myself to Yazd. So when I declare on Khorasan, I can actually take the last remaining province needed to form Persia. Let's do it. And what can I say? We won the coalition war. No one can stop us. Definitely time to get rid of some of the mercs. And let's look into our loans. I don't want to look, to be honest. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, man. How's our force limit looking? 19 out of 18. That's fine. Autonomy also looking fine. Most importantly, we have long truces with all these guys now. So no more potential of the coalition. I am gonna use this now. Get some manpower. Next thing I'm gonna use is this government interaction. And then we can complete another mission. Effective governance. Dilemma loses 5% groundlands. So we will gain 5%. Boom. 20%. And we can still seize lands after we unseize this province. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? 25%. Sure. We can go for the religion option. And how are... Yeah. We're converting. We're converting pretty nicely. And I'm gonna stay Shia this game. So now maybe our truce with Khorasan is separate one. And it will end in a few months. I have a claim, so yeah, I will be ready to declare on them. I think it's time to pay a bit less for our advisors. I'm gonna take a bit more privileges for them. For Amirs as well, please. And now we're actually not looking that bad anymore. In terms of allies, we could get only Trebzond. Poland, hmm, still need some good allies, man. Guys, truce with Khorasan is over. Baluchistan not joining. Davasir is. What happened to Baluchistan? Oh yeah, that happened. They're a one province minor. I did not even pay attention to that. Yeah, that's that's. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Level three fort here. That's annoying, but gotta take care of that. So finally, I have cored everything in this area, and I can select a local organization, local missionary strength, manpower, recruitment time. So let's take it. And provinces allow Kizilbash. Boom. Now this allows us to complete another mission. Establish Safavid order. We gain a castle and a mosque in Ardabil. That is actually really, really good. This area is super strong with mountains. And the mosque, of course, really helps. It's unlocked at level 4. We still don't have it. Boom. Golestan fell. Now do we engage in the desert? 
or shock no shock yeah man they're they're just dead they're just dead look at that it's only 10k own son and he's eliminated nice to meet you boy so we can quickly carpet siege this and the war is basically done it only took this one fort really now i really don't like this event but i'll have to go with the inflation option because the autonomy just hurts too much the guys unconditionally surrendered so the war is over so what i'm gonna take is all the provinces in the region of persia full money and warps i could take more provinces but we don't need these two like if i didn't took warps we could make it like this but if you go over to our mission tree, Rise of Safavids, we need 30 provinces in Persia, so it won't count and it's quite useless. It will cause more members to join the coalition, which is already quite huge. But I'm not too worried about this coalition, based on two factors, that we are super powerful, even if they declare we could beat them. But we still have truces with most of them, so it's not even relatively as strong as it looks. So yeah, let me send my demands, it's over man. If we take a look now, we have 29, we only need one more province to complete this mission. Let's get our units back and next I will probably fight Fars and take that one province. Now let's focus on coring Yazd. Let's also concentrate wherever we can because we will need a lot of admin points and we don't have many of them. Good god. New rival? Yeah, let's go with Fars. Time to repay a couple more loans. Here is our claim. And they're at war with the Timurids. Attacker. Oh, Sistani war for independence. Okay, that makes sense. Until when is our truce with them? 72. Oh, that's a very long truce. Um, who else could we attack in this case? Baluchistan is not in Persia. The same truce with Timurids. With these guys, it's 68. Okay, so in five years. I wish I just took one more province in the war with Karakayum, the first war. That would have solved all the problems. But okay, it's fine. Okay, it's time to get more Kizil bashes because we can actually afford them now. Another awesome general incoming. How good is he? Classic, classic for shock to siege. So guys, I have cored Yazd and I can now form Persia. I'm not gonna do it just yet because I still want to complete this mission right here. But just don't be mad at me if I make the title or the thumbnail look like I have formed Persia, because I can. I can form Persia already. It's only been 20 years since the start of the game. And yeah, what we can do now is get rid of this guy and have a lot, a lot of mana points for each of the categories. Welcome, buddy. The air is also good. Golestan Fort has to go. Now next I must sell some titles, seize lands and use this money to repay the remaining loans boom boom and boom we only have the one percent ones so we're actually really really stable considering how many setbacks we had with these coalitions and very expensive wars where we had to rent a lot of mercenaries and that's it guys on that note that we have unified Persia and can form it anytime we want to. I will end this video right here. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button and let me know in the comments if you would like to see me continue this run, form Persia and start completing their mission tree. Also, I would like to point it out that this save file will be available on Patreon and to the YouTube channel members. So if you would like to have this specific save game file and continue this run yourself, then consider supporting the channel by becoming a YouTube member or subscribing on Patreon. You can find the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.